and we'll take a few moments to calm your mind and body. Soften your face, your neck, and shoulders. Do your best to fully let go. And turn your attention to the breath, the calming breath, the soothing breath. Take long, slow breaths, full and deep. Breathing in, I am calm. Breathing out, I'm at peace. More stunning scenery from around the world, reminding us just how beautiful our world is. And what a great way to start our collective worship with some guided meditation an important opportunity just to sit and be, to clear our minds and focus on our breathing. And we light our candle to remind ourselves what Jesus said, I am the light of the world. What does that mean? So many symbols. There are symbols everywhere. Nah, it's good for another four days anyway. Symbols represent things. As well as the washing instructions in the jumper, this represents the England cricket team. Which of these symbols do you recognise? How many have you got right? Let's have a look at the answers. Seeing this before in collective worship, it's a symbol of peace. Recycling. Toilet. On off switch. Christianity. Islam. Sports company, Nike. And there are symbols in Lent. Lent is an important period in the church calendar. It is a 40-day period in preparation for Easter, the greatest feast of the liturgical year. In addition, it is a penitential period of fasting, intense prayer and almsgiving. All these aspects are geared towards following Christ in his suffering until Calvary and further. In order to be in solidarity with Jesus on his way to Calvary, we have some symbols which are very helpful during this period of Lent, and I would like to share some of them with you. They are as follows. Number 1. Ashes. They remind us of the creation story that we are made from dust. Genesis 2-7. They symbolize our human mortality and need for forgiveness, humility, purification and sorrow for our sins. Similarly, the ashes remind us that we are vulnerable persons before God and as it is written in Genesis 3:19, that, we are dust and unto dust we shall return. Number 2. 
violet or purple color. This is a somber color for the Lenten season which signifies humility, willingness to repent, mourning for the sins and suffering with Jesus. Number 3. Stones. They remind us of Jesus' experience in the desert for 40 days and being tempted by the devil. Jesus was tempted by the devil to change stones into bread but he did not heed to the devil. He remained steadfast and overcame the temptations. The stones symbolize austerity and rigor, desolation, misery and sadness. Number 4. Fish. It is a symbol of Lent which calls us to fast on Ash Wednesday and Good Friday. It further reminds us of abstinence from meat on all the Fridays of Lenten season. Number 5. Incense. It is a symbol of prayer, and as it is written in P. Psalms 141-2 that, let my prayer come like incense before you. Number 6. A money bag. It symbolizes the Lenten penitential practice of almsgiving. In the book of Tobit, 12 to 8 to 9, it says, Prayer and fasting are good, but better than either is almsgiving accompanied by righteousness. Number 7. Cross. It symbolizes victory over death and salvation from sin. Number 8. Thorns. It reminds us of physical suffering, loneliness and injustices in the world. May these symbols help us to prepare spiritually during this Lenten season in our encounter with God in the salvation mysteries. And remember from yesterday's collective worship, it's not just food that we can fast from. There are lots of good ideas here and lots of good ideas of what you can add into your life as well. And there are some more ideas here as well. Now let's conclude our collective worship with a prayer. And if you'd like this prayer to be your prayer, it's our at the end. You're welcome to look at the candle flame where you can put your hands and your eyes together if it helps you to reflect. However you choose to be still, the importance is that you are still. Dear God, please be with us at times of weakness. Give us strength to overcome our difficulties. Teach us to keep going when things are hard. Help us not to take our gifts and talents for granted. Amen. There must be better instructions than that. Oh, what's that one say? For best results, machine wash cold, tumble dry low, never iron design. For worst results, drag through puddle behind car, blow dry on roof rack. Brilliant! I understand them instructions. Fantastic. Brilliant. Work hard, be kind, look after yourselves, and we'll see you real soon.